Hey guys, it's Pamela. I'm going to do another attempt at the cloudy effect and um, I've got kind of an array of paints today. I've got Lucas Krill Studio and got that back during Christmas from Jerry's. It's been a while. And Deep Magenta from Artist Loft and Quinacridone Magenta mixed together for this pink. This is the pink that I used on the last moon pour. I think it was video before last. Um, this is Turquoise from Artist Loft. This is Phthalo Blue from Fine Touch. And this is the Deep Violet from Fine Touch. And, um, sorry if you can't see them. I have mixed these satin enamels in pure white. I had just a jar of the white, not mixed up with anything funny this time. It seemed to work last time, but I, I didn't even know what I was mixing in. I knew it was a jar of satin enamels that I had mixed up with something else, but not this one. This is just it itself in the pure white. I added some to the turquoise and the phthalo blue and there was already some in here from the last time and I did not put any in the base coat, the deep violet, fine touch, or this Lucas. This Lucas, I don't know if I mentioned the color, yeah it's called Fern. It says it's semi-transparent and I think all of these say they're semi-transparent. I just don't have any transparent colors to kind of get that different yeah, they all, they're all semi. I'm trying to get these out of the way here. Okay, I'm going to put the base coat down. All right, this is going to go quick, guys, because I'm still experimenting. And just go for it. This is the base coat I put in. Um, dump in some blue. Dump in some pink. And I want them to sink in there and get mixed around, so I'm just dumping it in. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's doing something in the cup. Yes, that's good news. Okay.
It's gone for about five minutes, and there he is. It's pretty, but, and this is kind of cool. This kind of looks spacey right here. Well, it all looks spacey. I'll name this one Event Horizon 2. How about that? I'm going to put him away to dry. I'm going to make up some more base coat. And I'm not going to use the rest of that. There's hardly anything in it. And I'm going to add some more satin enamel to, what was it? My yellow and phthalo blue. Was it the phthalo? Yeah, yeah, it was. Was it? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to add more, and I'll be back and tell you what I did. Okay. I put him away, or out of the way, and then I realized there was a big glare. You didn't really get to see him because of the lighting. There you go. Just now cells popping up. So, I'm adding more of the satin enamel. I had only added like a tablespoon before to the phalo and the turquoise and the, um, and I don't really know how much is in this pink, but I didn't add any, um, because it's doing things. So I think. Okay. I actually got that wrong. There was no satin enamel in the yellow in the beginning, only in the blues and it was already in the pink from the last pour. And of course there were none in the base coat. Okay, and here's what we're trying to get close to again. Um, without the ring pourers on either side of the corners, <laughs> but you know, this stuff in through here. So that's what I'm going for, again. I mean, I did it once, I should be able to do it again, right? <laughs> I'm going to thin this out even a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I'm not sorry. It wasn't thin before, it's thin now. And did I mention that all of these paints were mixed? one part paint, two part flow troll before I started adding in satin enamels or water. I don't even think I told you that. Yeah, this is flow troll. Not just water. There's water in there. I didn't measure the amount of water. I can see that. He's liquidy now. He's a little more liquidy than he was. Okay.
made up some more base coat. I put just a tiny bit of water, but mainly Floetrol, so it's it's about two-thirds Floetrol to one-third paint this time. <clears throat> I'm not putting any more satin enamels in my paint, in my other colors. Um, and this time, I'm not gonna... No. Let's do the base coat first. I'm not going to tilt everything off. I'm gonna tilt more slowly. I know I tilted very slowly in the last video.
coming down for a close up. This is the nice one, <laughs> the nice one. Well, two of them are nice. One wasn't so nice to me, the middle one. It's always the middle child, isn't it? But this one, he tried to get some funky action going on there, and I have yet to see it exactly like this. I really like it. And it happened to be on the uh, one and a half inch wide canvas, so that works. Here's the middle child. Mm, not so much. 